Hello everyone. Hope everyone's having a good day. This is Megan here. I'm going to be going through a quick edit real quick. Um, we are going to be working in a couple of collections today. Uh, the Painterly collection as well as the re a little bit from the Retouch and we're going to go a little bit into um, the Newborn collection as well. Um, this is a photo sent um, from Susie. She was interested in seeing what Gatsby can do for her photos and we are going to help her out today. So just for starters, I have already gone into ACR and done a few things to it and uh, not a whole lot just to kind of clean up a few things and um, that way we can just kind of jump straight into it. Um, so let's kind of start in the uh, Painterly Portrait Collection right now. I'm going to go in. You can tell her skin is very, very pretty, but it's kind of got a little bit of a shadow to it. So we're going to go here into Skin Light. We're going to play that action, and I'm just going to kind of tap it onto her skin right here. I'm also going to go in here to her daughter and her husband over here and get that kind of cleaned up in there. And for those of you wondering, I am working on a Wacom tablet. Highly recommend it. Really helps kind of fill in the lines a little bit easier than a mouse can, in my opinion. Okay. That's good for me. All right, so let's go here. We're gonna do the Michelangelo Foundation next. It's gonna play everything, and you'll be able to see instantly just what that one action can do. So if you really just like to do things quickly, um, I generally like to do these quick kind of edits for sneak peek kind of images, especially if you do um, like IPS and you just wanna get like a good simple soft kind of edit around it just to kind of show your client and then if they pick their photos you can go in and then edit the ones that you want later that way you're not doing a full in-depth edit for every single photo if they may not even want it if that makes sense so um, before so this is before and after before and after all right so I'm going to come down just a little bit and I really love these greens in here, but I kind of want them a little bit more pastel. So I'm going to go in here to a Sunday afternoon, and I'm going to play that. And it's going to kind of give those greens a little bit of a nice, pretty pastel pop, which we all love. I'm going to go in here. I don't really like what this did to her dress. You can tell her dress was a little bit more kind of a, it was a teal color, but more of like an aqua. This kind of made it a little bit of like a greenish color. I don't really want that. So I'm going to brush that off of her, that whole action, to kind of get it that more teal color back and not so much an aqua color. Oops. I'll the skin now. Okay. All right, so I think that's good on that. All right, let me go back into the retouch collection real quick. And let's add just a little bit of a warm glow onto her skin. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And this is a very, very subtle change, but it's very pretty. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and close that down. Now, just real quick, I'm going to go into the newborn collection and I'm going to grab my texture brush. And we're going to add a little bit of texture to the leaves in here. I really like to see definition in leaves. That's my personal style. But they're there, so why don't we make them pop? Let's also add a little bit to this wood right here. It'll help it. You can also add a little bit here in the background just to kind of give it a little bit more depth back there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I don't like this leaf right here, so I am going to just remove that thing out of there. And you can either clone or blemish, whichever you want to do. All right, so that'll work for that. Uh, let's grab this color pop brush just real quick, and let's just kind of lightly tap it onto her in this area just to kind of pop that some more. I'm going to bring it on the leaves too. Why not? Why not? Okay. And last thing. This is a retired. No, it's not. We can still use this one. All right. So we're going to come down here. 
This is the Innocence Collection. Um, this is one of the very first collections I actually ever bought. Um, I still love it. It's very, very pretty. I'm going to grab Butternut Vignette. I'm going to play it. It's just going to add a little bit of a soft warmth around the edges, which I really, really love. If you don't want it all the way around, you can always just go in and kind of brush lightly brush it off. It's a very, very light action. You can bring it up if you want to make it a little bit more in-depth. I'm going to keep it about 70%. That'll work for me. And then... Let's go back into Newborn Collection 2, and we're going to get matte the edges. We're going to pop that on there real quick, and it's just going to kind of finish it off. Alrighty, that looks good to me. I'm going to grab one more thing just real quick, just to kind of peach up that skin just a little bit more. You can also do this in ACR with a little bit of split toning, but I'm just going to do it right here because I'm already here. Just kind of brighten that skin just a bit. All right, there we go. All right, so this is going to be the before. And after. Very, very pretty. Gorgeous photo. It's a very, very solid slate foundation. Um, it was a little bit soft in the face, but not too bad that we couldn't get some stuff done in it. So... That's it. All right. I'm going to let you guys go, um, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.